Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Right, so if everyone looks at the camera, Howard. Nah, dead that. You're a cunt. Oh my god, I just I was waiting. Dead that. But it's Swear so loud. You're such a cunt. That's so loud. That is so loud. That's I think so like loud. I think sorry for the viewers at home, I think they've just lost all eardrums. We might have to check if the mic is actually working. It might be just... I actually can't hear anything. <clears throat> Oh, someone's commented in my video saying, hi. Let's have a look. <coughs> Why would you do this? I don't know, now you've got to clean it up. It's a mess. It's just mess. It's just... Yeah, I'm so oh, that was so much louder than I thought. Seeing you haven't even turned the microphone on. Oh Again. my god. I'm joking, it wasn't. <laughs> I was about to have a blip then. Okay, what's everyone, what's oh, everyone getting? Now. What's I everyone getting then? Then? What are you right. getting? Uh, this is a mukbang for anyone watching this. Um, wow. Wait, what am I getting? Wow. I'll get a. I don't know. What the? Oh, for like that. Oh. I, thought was, I thought that guy that bought broke around. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Like a, a shit mukbang? This is, this is a mukbang. We're just talking about anything. It doesn't matter. This is, get this is, the camera's not focused. This is a mukbang. Is it not? No. It's not focused. Does that go up to it? <laughs> It's the it's the end one, the, yeah, that one. Ah! Tell him when. Yeah, it's alright. That's cool. I'm fine now. Sure. Cheers. Oh, how 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 can Dreamland the sensations? You just see them. <laughs> oh, that's it now. No, I don't think. Actually. Sorry. Oh. Seems you still get it or not, what do you reckon? Well, why, why are you saying that like that? I don't know, like, should we still get it or not? Wait, are we, are we, are we still going to jump giants tomorrow? Yeah, we are, definitely. Are you sure? Yeah. It's a good job you're reminding me, though. Days. That come on, man. We haven't got much on the battery. Mm -hmm. We probably have, like, three ten-minute clips each, and it's already on, like... Mm -hmm. Wait, turn it so we can actually see the, the thing. What is Harrison actually right, going to do so when he comes down? I don't know. We were just <laughs> meant to have Harrison, a new guest on the podcast, but as usual, we've been let down. I mean, we're lucky enough to have these two bods with us today. Uh, what do we talk about YouTube? What's been happening on YouTube? Nothing's really happened recently in YouTube. Right? Well, nothing that we can talk about. Anything that happened was dead and buried because me and Howard just uh, be asked to film. One thing that has happened, though, with it's not a big thing, but Joella, did you see that? Mm. There's a bit of thing like boy, I don't even know like what. Basically, in Joella's last video, he basically just exposed him with that song King Kong. Have you seen? Have you heard that? Yeah, and KSI scared of cheese. Yeah, apparently, yeah, yeah. Cheese. Swiss, Swiss, Swiss cheese. cheese. You know the cheese with the holes in it. Apparently, KSI's got a genuine fear of it. So Joe, Joella like came out saying, oh, "I'm gonna expose you and all this yeah, if you make another video of me." And then, and mm. then KSI just, was like, "Go on," and he's just like, You're "Just did, just didn't hold the weight we were expecting, did it?" Basically, yeah. Oh, is this what we do in Mutman? Just you sort of eat. It's, just, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Usually they have the microphone here so they can hear on mouth. Oh, like a a ASMR. This is a Twenty One Savage song. Yeah, it's that like ASMR. No. Is it actually ASMR? Well, not all of it, but part of it is. Well, I uh, do not eat that. It's so hard. I can't. I don't know if I discuss this with you a lot, but have we watched? Have you lot watched Bandersnatch? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Wait, is that know. is that the Black Mirror episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it lets you choose the option. Right. So that's what I'm going to say. That if you if you upstairs, I was planning on making a video. No one's done it before. I've like, do you know on videos? No, they have. So you telling me someone's done that? Where do you know on a video you have the two boxes, like the end screen, the, the cards, yeah? So like you choose, and you have you have the videos as unlisted, so it's not on your channel, but like they take only people the link. Yeah, I, I used one of those back in the day. I used to watch um, Nerf videos. Uh, what was his name? So you could decide uh, what happens. But I'm yeah. saying like if what. Seacox, well. no, Cox ninety seven or something like that. It was a very, it was, an, it was an old Nerf, Nerf YouTube channel. Nerf, Nerf YouTube is it not the gun? Yeah, Nerf. and he done a YouTube video where it's like a zombie, like a zombie outbreak, and, it, and yeah, he let, he has a hyperlink site in the video to let you choose obviously what oh, what, what option sense. you want to go for. Mm. I, I'm always late. So, to the so it's, it's not a new concept, but it just hasn't been used. Yeah, it hasn't in been executed like a decade. Though. Yeah, I think if I use it, I could regenerate the whole thing. Oh yeah, because you're so relevant. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll get my, I'll get my relevancy. 
I am basically right gum. Yeah, but Ryan's gum isn't relevant, is it? His, his channel's slowly dying. It'll slowly whenever, die. Whenever he makes a video, he just gets backlash. But I think he loves it. No, he was slowly dying, but then surely that, that controversy just made it have more publicity. And Jake Paul. But like Jake Paul was just a Yeah, but do man. people actually find Jake, like, I, 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 entertaining? I don't, I don't mind him. I I've, just, wa I've watched a couple of his videos. I, I, I find him alright. But, like... I'm, I'm, I'm just not hearing from him as he much. Just don't give, he just don't, he don't, he don't give a fuck. He just, he just cares about the money. He even said in the Logan Paul podcast, he's just trying to get the bag. But imagine that though. In your position, you would be so tempted to do that for a brand deal. I don't want to go about this thingy, scan thing all over again. But no, but the easiest thing to do was just to say, um, you need to be 18 plus to gamble so you understand you know, you can lose something, you can also win something. Mm. Obviously in this case, the chance of you actually winning something Zero. is like 0.001%. <laughs> and there's, there's like a mansion on there, like why is that on there? The mansion that wasn't even bought, yeah. Yeah, the mansion that wasn't even bought. But also, like, regardless of that, would you still deal a brand deal? Someone just gives you 250k, it was like roughly that amount they said. What, for... Um, just for if, if, I, if I was in their yeah. position, knowing that I've actually got a reputation to uphold, I wouldn't just take it. Yeah, if no, I, I had a reputation to uphold, obviously I'm going to think it through first. Yeah, and where's his money? Wait, 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 what, what was he promoting? What, that, um, that mystery brand. Do you remember me and you? I said to that. Howard, like, ages ago, this was probably like last year. Like, remember, it was when Ramel done it. That's the first yeah. time I've ever heard of it. And it looked sick, didn't it? Like, you know, I've actually been on that website. I've actually put money into that website. What? I saw. Did you get any, anything like that? Because I, I swear think, you can still get stuff. I think it was when I saw TGF do it. I think it was when I saw TGF do it. And I literally just put like a tenner in just to. You know, just cause why not? Mm. Did you get anything like? That? I heard you can. No, get but I tell you what, I put a tenner in, and it lasts. It lasts you a long time. Mm. So it it makes you feel like you want to put more money in again. But mm. so you're not just keeping like, it. No, though, I'm are not you? putting anything else. You're in. not keeping it though, are you? Well, like, do you know the stuff you can either keep it or? No, no, I'm selling it. I'm selling yeah. it and getting the money straight back. Because like, the most to, of the things you would use. Another box. I know. It's like it's like phone cases or like a a pop socket or something. Yeah. Like, but you think if, if you if you put a tenner in and you come away with like a new iPhone case, I guess it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But in, in that kind of situation, it's like well, you could have just bought it yourself. There's uh, one topic I do want to talk about is like our top. Let's just say I don't know top five YouTubers that we watch or something. Because I feel like. Mine has changed so much over time. My top five YouTubers. That, that, like, it's not even that. Oh, the bet. I don't know. Because I guess you. You would have to check. Them. To be honest, I've obviously KSI's up there. He's just. He's just so entertaining. Yeah. I don't really watch YouTube that much. You are. You are an old man. This guy watches like Emmerdale, by the way. Just saying. Don't that watch. <laughs> nah, you watch no. You watch. I feel like you. Watch, you probably watch some, but it's, you mostly watch Instagram stuff, innit? Like. What do you mean Instagram stuff? Like. How do you go from Emmerdale to Instagram? <laughs> stuff? <laughs> no, like you in it, you're always talking about Instagram like memes and do you know shit like that, like um. Just comedy things on Instagram. There's like, like I like that as well, but I just don't. I tell you what, really PewDiePie like. has crept back up my list. Yeah, definitely. PewDiePie. Like with the kind of videos he makes the now, they're videos. just they're just so funny. Mm. They're just so funny. And like, he's, um, he's, a, he's a genius. And come on, if you haven't subscribed already, like I've done my part. You do yours. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Um, True Jordy and Lawrence, but obviously that yeah, only yeah. counts as number. Did you see um, Arsenal awesome Fan one. TV? Did you yeah, see Arsenal yeah. Fan TV that went at Lawrence? Yeah. That was that ridiculous. Was, that, that, was, guy, Robbie, that, was yeah. that guy Robbie, yeah. That guy Robbie needs a slap. Do you know if you've done the... You Video with Mir Khalifa. Have you seen that? Yeah, him? that's... Okay, that's one thing. And then... He had like the, him and Lawrence were going a bit back and forth. Wait, who's, like, Lawrence? who's Lawrence? Lawrence, you know, um, I don't know anything. The, the, the skinny, skinny guy in the true, in the true Jordy podcast. The, 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 yeah, oh, skinny guy with a beard. So he's, he's like, he's like hey. his co-worker. He's beautiful. <coughs> I love Lawrence. Yeah, well, big up Lawrence. Yeah, he is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But, um, <coughs> <coughs> this is why I shouldn't do mukbangs. Do you not eat and Wait, talk? Wait, have you fucking chew that and then just? Yes, yeah, because that. look, <laughs> this is solid. <laughs> Like I want to, I need a reef of the mountains. No, but the thing with um with Robbie, like from Arsenal fan TV, he's a guy that p promotes it. Like, how would you describe him for people who don't know who he is? I don't, wanna, I don't wanna become offensive. He stands there's a lot out, of he used to be a, he used to be a reggae artist. He stands yeah. outside yeah. the football ground after a match and goes, and what goes, do you think of that match? When the win are out, well that's what he used to do anyway. Uh, but it's not as big it. as it used to be. Like remember when we were back at school yeah. and Wenger was still their manager, and, and troops, they were losing troops, when games. Was popping, I don't find him funny anymore. Yes, we're not one. I don't really be watching that more. I don't, I, didn't, like, I didn't even watch it. That's the thing. I don't. I don't it watch was, it at all. There's a bod outside. There, there was a silent bod. I don't know. That was a very dainty. No, I think I feel like that was a wind. Not coming at all. Yeah, but to be fair, if it's Harrison knocking, it's obviously going to be. Oh, actually, wait, Harrison, pause that because it's ten minutes now. 
Oh, it has. Pause <laughs> <laughs> it when you knocked, when you went there. We've been doing actually quite well. That's this is. No, but wait, pause it again. Why? Why? So where were we at? You just pressed play again now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they were cool. Play again. Where were we at? Where were we? Alright, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fine. We were talking about alright. Um. So Arsenal fans, TV, they're going back and forth. I think it's just, it's just internet trolls, basically. Like Lawrence will say stuff about like um, about Arsenal fans, TV saying this. No, like, no. If because if you watch um, Lawrence, if Lawrence, you watch Lawrence right. responds to um, Robbie, Lawrence, oh, I did well, Lawrence, that, that. Lawrence literally was just like if. Like you can do this, this, and this better. You know, give him like some constructive criticism. Yeah. And Robbie was just apparently being a cunt about it or trying to throw it back in his face. Yeah, I think he's trying to be like the big man who's representing Arsenal and all that. But... Is this him? <clears throat> what? Yeah, that, that's Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. Lawrence McKenna. But yeah, as I was saying about uh, favorite YouTubers, I would say up there it would be for me. I mean, I know you two don't like the impulsive podcast. It definitely would definitely be up there for me. Yeah, but would you say Logan Paul is your favourite YouTuber? Oh no, I know that's weird. That's that's weird for me to say, even though I do actually like. That's it now. that's something actually. Um, this whole um going gay for a month thing. Oh, going gay for a month, Logan Paul. It's, like, is it bad? I don't think it's that bad, and it, it sounds bad to say that, but it depends in what context you look at it. If you look at it as like. But yeah, people, it's a choice whether you want to be gay or not. Off, uh, the thing is, is that if I'm right in saying, he didn't even publicly state that he was going to go gay for a month. He, he made, he made a podcast. joke on the podcast yeah. saying... Which he didn't even know it was going to be... Yeah. Was, it, was it just male March or something like that? Yeah, like, is it, yeah. We go, oh, we go gay March. for a month. And also, he, he, made, like, like, he made like a, you know, two, two seconds. Yeah. And they've just completely, like, you know, flipped it on its head and... Like, also, you've got to look at his, um, his intention. His inten oh. It's an intention. If it was in a separate video, yeah, then it might have been a publicity stunt. But it was just, like, in, in a podcast, like we're talking now. So I've actually just, just had enough of, like, big media websites trying oh, to take God. down YouTubers all the time. It's every time, like, even the same with, like, the Jack Maynard, I'm a celebrity shit. Like, there's so much things that the, the mainstream media just starts pushing. But well, what happened with Jack Maynard, um... Hey, how this this podcast is coming so irrelevant right now. <laughs> no, it's because do you remember that thing? It's basically like he, he, yeah, he had some he had some older tweets and um, you saying like someone found it on the oh his yeah, Twitter that's another good there, thing to talk about. What do you think of all this like? Oh, um, like baiting people out for their old tweets. Because you hear about Kevin Hart, uh, yeah, yeah, with the Ellen thing. Was yeah, that Ellen? he lost his. Um, but Ellen gave him a chance, didn't it? It depends. No Ellen, no, Ellen called up the academy and was like, I think he should um, be able to get his job back as like the host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, but Kevin was still like, no, I don't even want to do it myself anymore. I, think, I feel like it depends yeah. on what the, what the tweets actually are. You know what I mean? If if it's like extreme racism, then, <laughs> then may, maybe they should be held to it. Mm -hmm. But it's but, like, but people do change. People exactly. Do change. It's like, like you, you aren't right now. We're all not the same as we was five years. And yeah. in five years' time, we're really different. So just, I don't think your views should be representing you, unless it's like something so big. Like for example, with Logan Paul, no, everyone, no matter how much he changes, everyone's still gonna just think, oh, he's a suicide. He's the suicide for this guy. Like, yeah. Because like, no matter how hard he tries to push it away, he worldwide he'll always be known as the guy who killed someone. Just basically stay in school camera. and don't do drugs, and you'll be okay. Oh look at that staying out, that is please. <laughs> no. What are you what are, I'm trying to think of what other YouTubers. So P PewDiePie will be up there, KSI will be up there for me. I'll say for me, like I you, you two don't watch any like UK vloggers, but like Joe Suggs for me, I find him I find him decent. He's like a good YouTuber. Yeah. Um when I used to watch YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I would say There's like certain people. Mr. Would... Beast, like okay, we've got to think about the most hyped people right now. Like the, the top guns are telling it, Mr. Beast, like but that's the thing, it's like all these things are about money. It's just about 10,000 on this, a million on that, but mm. it does bang views. Same with people like, I don't, there's so many there's so many people. I don't know what Harrison Tate is going to get here for. I have no idea. So you know when you're like, when you're watching YouTube, yeah. would you say that you belong to like a specific community, like there's a set yeah, yeah, group of YouTubers that thought, you watch and yeah. like you only watch those YouTubers? What are those yeah. YouTubers? So me, for me, it's it's the groups like the the Will and E and those other bum yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Cal, like, yeah. I'm Alex. I actually I like I'm Alex, Alex as well. What about, really what like about um, oh, I think his podcast as well. I rate him, Jack mate. Jack mate. Yeah, I love I watch Jack him mate. as well. He's funny. He's class. And then obviously there's Is Jack mate the one that um. He done the Zoella shit like that's he, he does all like those kind of complaining videos. Yeah, the ranting videos. Yeah, they're funny. They're so funny. 
I find him so funny. But he's actually he's actually <clears throat> like a comedian. Like he wants to do stand up like this year he said. Mm. Like, I think he could. But yeah, uh, people like that there's, yeah, there's a certain click in like the UK especially. Mm. But then there's I feel like in the UK if you watch yeah. one person you're more likely to watch this person than Yeah, this like person, the, obviously this the side men and you've got Calix, Cal Freezy, like you're not yeah, yeah, the exactly. same people. I feel like the UK is like a, a tighter bond between like UK YouTubers yeah. compared to like over in America. In America, everyone's just competitive with each other. Even mm. brothers, mm. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Rice Gum, Ace Family now. Oh, did you see that? Hey, yeah, have you heard about the Ace Family thing? You know the Ace Family? I don't know. Bro, didn't the, the dad give his daughter like a, a dick lollipop or yeah, something? Yeah, so, like that. no, no, it wasn't his dad. So, basically. Fucking pedophile. Oh, it's just weird. Yeah. So, basically, this the Ace Family, 50 million subscribers I have. <clears> so, that's like obviously a lot. There's like mm. a family vlogging channel. And. Yeah. This guy, this guy decides to like in a shop, yeah. Apparently, apparently, it wasn't his daughter, so that makes it okay, which it isn't, because it's still a little girl, like literally, like I don't know, probably like mm. six or something years old. And then, like, does a thing on Instagram. He's like, oh yeah, oh she's like, I want that lolly, and he pans it up the camera up, and it's like a like a dick lollipop, and like one of those rude stores. Mm. And it's just like, did, yeah, but did but he actually, I haven't watched doing? the video. I haven't watched the video. Did he I actually give it to her, the lolly? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he he did, he did give it to her, but it's like it, it was for a video, but that's not that's not the point. The point is, is that. It's just, it's not something you're doing, it's, it's not good promoting anything like that to like, especially kids, and online as well. But what was a kid doing in a rude store though? He, he probably bought and put her in there, that's what I'm saying, it's just weird. He's probably selling her in there, fucking freak. Is you trying to... I was just trying to see what's happening on Twitter. Yeah. See if anything just so happens to pop up yeah, on that, Friday literally, night. Literally, oh, that, that, that's, that is how um, I get loads, so that's where like Twitter is just the home of anything. Did you hear about um, Prince Philip? What happened to him today? Who's that? Had a, what? Wait, what do you mean, who's that? Who's Philip? Prince Philip. Oh, oh like Prince Philip. Yeah. Yeah. The bald one, the bald one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, yeah. he's not bald. Like, well. the Queen's husband. He had Where a car he? crash this morning. Oh, did he? Yeah, the car, proper, the car completely flipped. Nasty. It's probably going to be trending, I think. I swear that's the same thing. And then they reunited for Britain's Talent. Uh, what's her name? Was it Princess Diana? I don't know. Oh, yeah, she had a car crash, but yeah, I don't think it flipped, though. So there was, so there was like some whole conspiracy theory behind that. Yeah, that um, the government or the royal family was involved in that. Yeah, but what would they gain from killing her? I don't know the full story, but apparently she was like quite disruptive. Like, because really? you know, like how the royal family, like, like they're like, they like example, seen, like really? to the um, for the whole world, like, because yeah. like, we have such a big royal family. They're, all, they're all inbred. So I don't know why. I don't know why we fucking follow them. <laughs> like it's. It's proven they they are messed up. They have fucked their cousins. Well, well, the FBI just charges through. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Queen's outside. With, Queen's outside with a sword just <laughs> whips off my head. I want to talk about the Leeds United thing. Yeah, I know yeah. you don't get this shit, but it's interesting. Yeah, I think you'll I'm still find this it, one. You still might find it interesting. So our our manager Leeds United. Uh, Wait, Ricky, well, I mean Ricky. I mean um, Zach. Do you know the story though? Like, do you know what's been going on? Like with Leeds. I heard. One manager was spying or something. Yeah, so our manager, Marcelo Bielsa, Spanish Spanish guy, very good manager. There's debate whether he's he's getting criticism from everywhere because he basically he went to Derby's ground and like basically every single game he's sent someone to the ground to spy, like literally with binoculars. Like they our Leeds employers to see how they train and the argument, the reason why I don't think it's that bad is because first of all, it's not illegal, it's not against any law. It's probably morally incorrect, but there's other people, other managers that's done it. Jose Mourinho has done it, apparently. Apparently, um, is that what we don't okay, know? Okay, but I, I think there's lots of managers that don't know. The way I see it, is, is it illegal in, in that world? Nah, it's not, it's not well, illegal. Well, People then he's just, done nothing wrong. Exactly, thank no, you. No, but it doesn't People just mean, thinking it as, oh, it's bad, but it's like, he's, it, it, who else, who else it, is doing that? He's, he's, How is he's it a bad? clever guy. Why well, doesn't well, your manager send someone out to go and spy in the game? Exactly. You might as well, it's legal. Exactly. And it's like cheating on a test. It's not, though, it's, is it? It's not, it's it not, it's not legal, because cheating on a test yeah, but you're is not illegal. Allow, you're no, not allowed it, to it, cheat on a test. You're allowed to do this. No, no, no it's, not, it's not the same. No, sorry, it is the same. Because like, <laughs> <It's not laughs> the same. Yeah, OK. Because it's just immoral, because you're not supposed to be doing that. Like, then you have an advantage over the other team, then, don't but you? Everyone else has don't a chance to do that. Don't you want to have the advantage over the team, though? Everyone else has... No, but it's... And how, you can't say, you can't say that, like... I'm not sure if you like with our games. We haven't won every game because of that. Because obviously, just because you study a team doesn't mean like they're gonna play exactly uh, like that. Like we've obviously had to score goals and had to play well. It's not like we just ended up top. For yeah, no but reason. then you know what your opponent is gonna be doing. Exactly, so. and uh, Mark, Mar Mar Marcelo Bielsa is—he's a genius because no one else has thought of doing that. Like, as in like 
in today's world. No one, I'm, I mean, there's there probably I don't are see why not. Teams. Exactly. It's basically a dodgy loophole, basically, if you think about it like that. But yeah. it's dodgy. It's dodgy geezer. Dodgy. <laughs> It's not, it's like YouTube will have stages. Like I feel like with YouTube, people will people do controversial need, things like on purpose. People are waiting for drama. Yeah, for, for channels like us, and like, or like Keemstar, he's just sitting <laughs> there in his bedroom now with his like, Cheetos, like, mm, <laughs> like, in his laptop. He probably doesn't do that, it's a bit weird. Um, I mean, I don't know, like, I like doing things like this because it's more, it's, more, it's, it's more real, if that makes sense. And you're just reporting on anything, but mm. that's the thing of being like a news channel. You literally, your whole thing is like based on other people. So then again, it's, is it creative? I don't know. Because like you're just reporting, but then it is because you're like you. I have to. You have to talk. Did you not watch the uh, Spider-Man Far From Home trailer? Oh yeah, what's that? Oh yeah, yeah. They're making too many though. I think. Nah. It looks good. What do you mean but making too? They're like they need to just. I feel like they're not putting. They need to wait. Like and that sounds stupid, yeah, because it's annoying. But they need to like wait like at least two or three years mm -hmm. then release a movie because then no. they'll make it really good. If you no. release a movie and it starts with the Star Wars, if you release a movie every single year, yeah, then it's like. You have the time, but like you it's probably the, no, but like they were just doing that because they had to build up hype for Infinity War. Oh, and plus, yeah, Endgame is going to be once like, once like, end, once Endgame drops, like they're not going to keep us waiting for anything. There's nothing massive that yeah, exactly. we're waiting for. Massive. All we're waiting for right now is Endgame. Endgame, yeah. Yeah. Oh Jesus! What, what, are, your what are your predictions for Endgame? Um, have you have you heard any of the theories that might go? I don't, I've, I don't been, like I've been watching that. a lot of theories on it. I hate watching fan theories on. Um, I don't mind them because they relate no. it to the comics, so mm -hmm. it actually no, see no. how it actually goes. You read the comics and how. Yeah, but then what if that looking. actually happens in the film? Then then it will be. Well, you're not going to know. You're not going to know until it happens. Yeah, but then when it comes to the day, then it, I'll. What well, if it yeah, happens? Then I'll, it'll eventually be sport for me. Well, no, I hate because fan you're not going to know what happens until you see it happen. I think what's interesting is watching fan theories after you've watched it. Like for Game of Thrones, there's so many fan theories, but I would not watch any fan theories for season eight. Potent potential um, spoiler but alert for anyone that wants to watch um, Avengers Endgame. This is one of the possible theories I've heard. Um, Captain Marvel has, has already been leaked to have time travel powers, so most likely she's just going to go, back, not, go back in no, time no. and make Actually, the whole, I really heard about and make the steps um, <laughs> you come years, that happened with Avengers um, <laughs> just not happen uh, so, so the way they're going to re like undo the snap is if it never happens mm. and that would explain why Peter in Homecoming um, is obviously you know alive again What's Are your, you not going to watch um, Captain Marvel? Because I'm not that yeah. interested. I'm, I'm not really. I don't really care. I don't you, know, you, 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 I'll, I'll watch it, but I won't go to. to the cinema and watch you it. You will have to watch it, though, full Endgame. Exactly. You need to, you not need necessarily. It's a bit with all the, uh, but I don't think I'll pay... Well, Cause what I mean, cause what I will pay to or? watch it because I... Will. I because I don't I, watch it I'm a loyal citizen. Because <laughs> <laughs> what Infinity War done well is it brought all the all the characters together and kind of gave you like a rough introduction to them, so that anyone mm. who hasn't been following the franchise knows where yeah. they're at already. Yeah, you, no, forget, this that, is, you forget this is a so Disney sick, movie. The way that they did are, that. Marvel is owned by Disney. Disney Channel. And they want to just push it to as many, you know, the bigger audience, the biggest audience it can. Mm. What is your What is your favorite super superhero? Who is it? For me, well, if, if I if I could be like one of them, I'd probably be, be Spider-Man. I, mean, I don't even care what you say. Thor, Thor's OP. Oh, Thor, Thor man! Like, why? Out of everyone, really? Have you watched Thor Ragnarok? Yeah, I love that movie. No, yeah, that is that is sick. Like, oh, oh. it's it's less of an action and more of a you know yeah, a actually, an action yeah. comedy. You know what I mean? Because the previous Thor was like I don't know if you lot have watched it. Dark like, World and the first one were yeah, just a bit. Were just I feel like there, there like was no was character development. It was yeah. just I'm Thor. I need to protect Asgard. Yeah. Where's my hammer? I feel like That's they're it. putting too much comedy in these in these things now. No. Nah. I swear they never used to be in this comedy. Yeah, they, they, they never right, used to be this comedy. Some of it's a bit like, cringy. It, to be fair, like, like when I watched it, when I watched Ragnarok at first, I didn't like it. I thought it was a bit cringy because because that was the first movie that they've made that well, was so thought, like comedic and like it was more light hearted almost. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. The tone of it was light hearted, but the content was obviously still very yeah. Marvel. But, but I, like, I, I liked it. Like, the, the second there. times that I watched. Like I was saying, because it's Disney, they want to make it like really family friendly. Yeah, you know what I mean. So they they're gonna put jokes in everywhere. Mm. But the thing that you'll find when they do that is that sometimes the tones are going to be off in the little scenes. Mm. Like in Infinity War, when Rocket's, you know, Rocket Raccoon's talking to yeah. Thor, and Thor's like, you know, I've basically got nothing left. Mm. He just follows up by a joke. Mm. I feel like that kind of ruined the tone for like that mm. whole scene. It could have been an insightful moment for them mm. to like, you know, actually build a friendship. One thing I want to talk about is like, I was talking to my brother about this the other day. 
Like, what is the actual point of trailers? Oh, do you know I've just stopped watching trailers now? Like, what's the point? It just basically... To get you excited. No, but it just does, like... It, it should just be a category, yeah? Or, like, a, a small, small clip. Because it basically shows you, like, um, what's going to happen, almost. Like, no, it, it does. Really. A lot of them. A lot of the ones I've been seeing recently, they're just... They're so pointless. Camera phones have not been showing us what they're going to be doing recently. Oh, I don't... They've, you know, just, they've, don't they've just been doing teaser. Don't even talk to me. They've just been doing... Oh, Harrison's just decided to call me now. Hello? What is he doing, yeah? Hello? Stop, stop breathing. Yeah, it's Snapchat, your, your post goes. Oh my god. Harrison, I think it's a bit too late. We're literally like finished doing the podcast now. Does he really care about it? Too late, yeah? Though? Wait, Harrison, are you actually, are you, I think you're taking the piss. I don't even know I'm where you are. And I called, and I called, you know where I live as well, you've been to my house. <laughs> yeah, I know where you live, but I don't know where the post goes, but I haven't saved it. Oh, go TW148SE. Oh, does that even know that? Not? Is it? Oh, is that, when are you going though? I saw you going like 10 minutes. You can do an outro and then I'll cut it. Seriously? Yeah. It depends because. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it, it's now, Josh. No, well, it's still at mine, but we're literally like finishing off the podcast. What, what are you going to do then? <laughs> and then Zach's going, and then I'm not sure what Howard's doing, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. So we just save it for another day, just go actually out for a meal. Hello. Are <laughs> <laughs> you having like a seizure or something? <laughs> Imagine oh. foam just starts coming out of <laughs> No, I said, should we just save it for another day? Because like, how has Zach's going in like 10 minutes and then I don't know what Howard's doing. He might go home then. Why don't you lot just stay? So should we? Actually, just, just, it counts and just come, just come. Yeah. Well, how, how long is Howard how, how staying here? They're going to be here a while. I don't know, maybe not till 10 then. Well, not till 10. Okay, but we'll what then? But we'll be here. 9.30 then. No. I well, don't know, Harrison, what, have you not left your house at all? I'm not, I haven't left yet, no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> By the time he gets here, it'll be like, you'll be here for like 20 minutes then, isn't it? Because like, if you're going to go at like 9, say, that's in like an hour. I say leave it and we'll just we'll just we'll go out again for actual meal like harvest or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, done, done. Right, okay. Actually, no. Oh wait, what? you end the call because my. Right, hang on. Now let's you... talk about Fortnite. All right, Please. Fortnite. Um, yeah, yeah it's a game. Right. It's kind of dead now, but what do you guys think about Fortnite? Are we ever gonna play it again? No. Why? Well, wait, wait, sing Mick and outro because we need to talk to Zach about something very quickly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But we didn't even do an outro last time. I don't know. Is this an outro? Like, this is. Don't hold gang signs up. Like, what are you? Like, are you in the? Are you in the low gang? Nah, no, I'm never say that again. What is that? Is that? Nah, it's that. Isn't it? It's like it's like it's, 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 it's like that basically. Um, if you're enjoying this, I mean, yeah, we need brand new Purdy's. Like, they got a sponsor for us. We got we got the food here. It was kind of a mukbang, but it wasn't. We didn't even get food. We just ate a load of shit. Um, but yeah, be sure to like listen to. This. I'm gonna, I might put this on Spotify. You know. Nah. I think I can. Let's Do you not. need like a license or something? I don't think anyone listens to it, but wherever you're listening to this, on the train, in church, like, do you know what? Bless up, man. Um, <laughs> like, subscribe, hit, um, hit notification bell down below, comment. What, who else do you want to see in the podcast? Do you want to see Harry Biker? Fernando Torres. Um, Lil Wayne? Oh, we're just saying names, it's just not possible. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I love it.